How many of these rappers actually get coochie and how many of them say that they do but they don't? You know, like I'm um, trying to look for the for the bar or uh, the bar right here. Um my track records are clean. Yeah, yeah. I sent her back to her boyfriend with my handprint. I sent her back to her boyfriend with my handprint on her ass cheek. Like, do you think he actually gets that much coochie, bro? Cause like, you know, like I used to be I, w- I wasn't the nicest guy for a while. And uh, I used to, like, talk talk like that to, like, women. Not to women, but, like, I just used to talk talk like that, just, like, jokingly, like, oh, yeah, where the hoes at and shit. And um, I wasn't getting any, right? So it, it, it just sounded so off because I was like, bro, like, you talk all this shit, but you actually don't get coochie. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, how many of these rappers actually do get it? It's an interesting thing. It's 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 interesting, man. <laughs> Girls are weird, man. You remember that? I'm wild, bro. This is old school CC right here. Is it weird to talk to yourself in, in, in the third person, bro? But yeah, I don't know. What do you think about... Like, do you think it's... Here's the thing. You know, because I was watching that OnlyFans video with, like... uh, It was the... um, It was the, the Sidemen versus OnlyFans thing. Like I remember that up that that video, and they were talking like it was like a would you rather or something or like, or like uh who no 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 it was like who disagrees the most or whatever, and uh one of the one of the vid one of the 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 things was would you date a girl that has slept over slept with over a hundred men or something like that it was like fifty or something a ridiculous number, and uh you know like from my perspective it totally depends you know because i don't feel like it's like like bad to say that you wouldn't date a girl that slept with that many men because it's like you know like if it's slept if it's banged like i can just pass that you know because it's like you know women can get laid anytime honestly if, if you're bad bro like yeah you don't have to you don't have to go around and, and like ask people you just stand there and shit and people come up to you I'm not complaining, but that's just how it is. And, uh, you know, you can get laid like that. But um, well, what was my point? Yeah, if it was like like 50 relationships, like you had like a boyfriend, like 50 boyfriends or some shit, like then we have a problem because it's like, mate, like you broke up with 50, man. Like that's that's an issue, you know? Like that might just be you that you have a problem with like men. <laughs> you know, you might have like a, yeah, you might just, <laughs> you might just have an attitude problem or some shit. Cause how the fuck do you break up with fifty men? I'm not saying that you're not a sweetheart, but like the chances of you being a sweetheart are very low. Cause you broke up with fifty men, or other, either your 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 the men that you choose are garbage, or they're actually good men, but you're just something like that like you got to take that into consideration you know but you can't these days <laughs> you can't i don't know i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about um communism though i'm not gonna get political i actually don't really find it like i don't really even like you remember like at the start of the podcast i used to talk about a lot of sh- fucking social issues like fucking like oh yeah pronouns transgender athletes and shit no nah, i talked about pronouns like a month ago but still, it's like, it just doesn't call me like that. You know, like it used to, but now I'm like, I'm not saying that I wouldn't talk about it. Like, fucking next episode, I might talk about it. Who knows? But it's still like, you know, uh, you know, like I don't really, I don't really find it enjoyable. This shit's hurting my head right now, but uh, I'm going to keep wearing it like a fucking idiot. Um, Yeah, bro. Would you date a girl that has slept with 50 men? Um, you also got to take into consideration, like, STDs and shit, right? Because, like, that doesn't go away. <laughs> you know, like, sure, she might not, uh, she might be the nicest girl, but, you know, if she got, she slept with 50 men, you know, what percentage of those men were actually using a condom? You feel me, Shine? You feel me? Like, I'm going to Google that shit. Like, how many people actually use condoms? How many people e- wear protection? <laughs> Because, like, it, it must be very low. It must be. Because there's a lot of people in this country, okay? There's too many people in this country, okay? Like, how, why are so many teens ditching condoms? Porn. That's literally the only reason why. 
<laughs> porn ruined a lot of shit, okay? It, it, it really did, okay? Because it made sex so... Because cause here's the thing. Jacking off... Jack, there's not a problem with jacking off. Like, I don't... Like, there's... Th that's just an action that you do, right? Like, it's, it, there's not a problem with it. Like, if you start doing it... Like, it becomes a problem... It becomes a problem where... When you're... You know, when you... You know, ditch certain things. Like, you ditch doing homework or you ditch playing going with your, going out with your friends or something to jack off like that's a problem but the art of it is just fucking it's just it's just coming actually but porn is the actual issue because you can get addicted to that shit and that's just not realistic you know like you're gonna start putting your girl in fucking doggy style even i don't know if you have one but putting your girl in doggy style right demanding her to fucking peggy or whatever the fuck i don't know what porn you watch but you know it's shit like that which is actually the issue it's not the act of fapping it's 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 the porn of it that's that's the thing that actually like ruins people <laughs> but yeah man um i don't know i don't know what 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 the, what the taboo is with porn you know because i got so many questions like i remember at the start of the podcast like episode five or some shit i i, I, I asked like very solid questions i still haven't had answers like like serious questions like if i'm wearing a condom do i still have to pull out like you know i gotta know that shit right because it's like i don't even know like i don't i don't know man you don't know any of that you can't you're not allowed to ask questions right i'm in 12th grade so i'm fucked because in unit they're not for they're definitely not gonna give sex education in university right and i could actually google it on youtube or some shit i could do that right but it's also like i don't know it's like, you just got to figure it out. Like what? Like fucking, it's like walking. I guess sex is like walking, you know? Like no one, you, when you're a kid, you don't actually, like when you're a toddler, you don't, you know, you don't ask people how to walk. You don't get a course on, on, on walking. You just walk, right? You just, you know, gradually do it. And I guess that's how, how sex is. You know, I feel like I look like a massive douchebag, but I'm going to keep doing it, you know? <laughs> um... But yeah, man, I don't know. What, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, why are so many ten, teens ditching condoms? As STI cases hit record highs, oh my god, bro. STIs, STDs, that's an issue as well, man. Oh god, you know. Like I remember, I kissed a girl once. Holy shit! And I got like a really bad cold afterwards. <laughs> I I got like the flu, man. And this was before COVID, so I was like scared shitless, bro. Oh god. <laughs> I don't even know if I should have said that, but fuck it. I just said it, man. Um, she's a, she was a wonderful lady. I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, that did happen, okay? <laughs> I don't know, man. And oral sex and shit. Like, you can get, like, really bad, like, herpes from that shit, but I don't know. Oh, God, bro. Oh, man, yeah, the, the Utah Jazz and the, and, the, and the Chicago Bulls are playing right now. I'm going to watch the game. Why? Because... I uh, have a bet going on, like um, sports section of this shit. Um, the Bulls are basically um, uh, they're they're four and one, I believe, right now. And uh, as uh, as of October thirtieth of of twenty twenty one, but um, you know, I do feel like they've had a, an easy schedule these past five games. And uh, me and one of my friends did a, have a bet that you know if. If the Bulls, after these past, you know, in, in the next five, nine games, if the Bulls win five or more of those games, I got to give them 200 pesos, which is like $4 or some. No, not, not even. Yeah, yeah, like $4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they go four games, they win four games or less, I win 200 pesos. So i gotta watch this shit okay and actually see if this is actually they're winning right now in the fourth quarter um they're winning by by eight right now and uh vucevic is about to go to the free throw line so we'll see um i don't know man if they're for real if they're not you know it's it's fun to bet you know it is it is like i don't i know that um some people it's like taboo and shit but it's like it's fun because Bill Burr said it's fun. Nah, but Bill Burr had a point. He said that, you know, like betting makes games more fun because you actually have some sort of like 
involvement in the game like and it's gonna it's gonna affect your life in a way you know like it's fun you know it, it definitely you know it becomes addictive after a while right like if you start betting a ridiculous amount of money for just a game right or like oh yeah if it's gonna get, get if in the super bowl if it if it lands heads or tails like then we go a little bit crazy but you know just a safe bet like that it's it's, it's dope it's it's pretty dope um but yeah man what can i say man what can i say um what would i do in a horror movie man i would i would be just i don't know fuck me man i would just be fucked you know like if motherfucking if michael myers man a motherfucker that's like six five two probably like 250 pounds or some shit just a fucking massive human just comes into my room like i'm fucked yeah yeah yeah. i just jump out the window i don't even like my windows have fucking bars on them so i can't even jump out but i'll probably yeah it would just be horrible man it'd just be the most terrifying shit you know who's the most scariest who's the scariest out of all of them uh I used to be scared of Chucky when I was younger. I'm not really scared of Chucky like that. I would say that the one that scares me the most is probably the Jigsaw, though. It probably is. Not because it's, like, it's going to kill me like that, but it's just, like, it's going to put me in a massive, like, torture chamber. You feel me? So probably that. The girl from The Exorcist is fucked. The, the girl from The Exorcist is pretty fucking... And she's a demon, like, for fuck's sake, right? But... <sighs> who else freddy krueger i just don't sleep i just drink some some coffee jason i uh yeah probably jason freddy not 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 jason fucking michael myers all those motherfuckers are just scary as shit bro they're just violent they're just fucking toki yao bro toki yao oh jesus i'm punching this shit bro <laughs> oh man i'm in a good mood fuck me man this is great Compared to like the last podcast, I was, I was feeling a little bit down last podcast. Not gonna lie to you, you know. All right, so I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna make this under twenty sec, thirty seconds. I have the timer right here, so I'm just gonna inform you where the podcast you can listen to it. Okay, you can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, Google Podcasts. Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and Breaker. All those are linked in the description. You can also enjoy some shorts that I post on my Instagram at Claudio DLS. And uh, yeah, that's it. I just did it under 20, 30 seconds. So uh, yeah, enjoy and uh, click on any of the top ones. Boom.